Hey, how are you guys doing? It's been a while. So today we are with the French Razor uh, Vincent, my very first one. And I'm really looking forward to see what we can achieve with it. All right, let's see in a moment. So let's open the box. Here it is, a Vincent Intrepide. It's to me an absolutely gorgeous razor. Look at that. The scales, the engraving on it. Uh, I'll show you the blade also with an amazing etching. <clears throat> I absolutely love this razor. The design is absolutely amazing look at this engraving on the spine not sure you're gonna see it well I just polished the razor just before so very shiny see that really love it and look at this blade with a nice etching on it saying majestic it's a 5.8, I believe. Yeah, nice uh, mirror polish. Now, the only thing is, uh, I just noticed that uh, the blade is not flat. It's kind of, there is an angle on it that I need to, uh, to work on. It's not flat, so it needs to be worked on. Now, first things first, we're going to put some tape, protective tape on the spine. But before, let's have a look at the, the bevel, or what's left of the bevel. Alright, well, there's no bevel. There is some dents. Okay, more dents. Some rust, yeah, oxidation, again oxidation. Oh yeah, quite a lot. Um, even more here. Okay, up to the nose. So, protective tape on the spine. Quick sharpie on the spine or so to check the geometry. And we're gonna use an Atoma 600 to rebuild uh, this bevel. So it's a very, very flex, flexible, uh, soft, uh, not soft, I would say, thin blade, extremely thin, so it's very flexible, so I have to be extremely careful with the pressure I'm putting on the blade. Need a new, new tape. Okay, let's try to remove this oxidation and flatten the blade again. Flatten the, the, the bevel because it was definitely not flat. Now, let's dry the blade and have a look at the, uh, the microscope. Okay, we have sort of a bevel. It's not bad. It's not bad. But let's see, the blade is the, the sorry, the bevel is still not perfectly flat. Let's see. Now let's move to a Shapton 1K. We'll build a nice uh, slurry on it, still with the Atoma. And we'll do some back and forward. Stroke. Strokes on the on the stone. Mm. Okay, you know what? This blade is still not perfectly flat, and I don't like that. 
So we go back to the Atoma. Just to give you a, a bit of sense of time, I'm going fast with the video, but it took me over an hour to flatten the blade again. See how flexible is the steel? That is madness. I never had a blade like this before. This is so thin, it feels like a, a D blade almost. I can tell you this one will be singing well if I can master uh, uh, the edge of it. Again, back on the Shapton 1K. New slurry. It's a quite a hard steel but extremely flexible. Now we've done the 1K, we're gonna move to the 5K, so Shapton 5K. I really like this tone, magical. It removes the previous scratches from the previous stones like super well. Same process, we create a small slurry. And some back and forward. So I'm just putting my other hand on the blade to keep it flat, but almost no pressure. The, the edge is so thin that we shouldn't put any pressure on this kind of blade. So that's why it takes time also to hone it properly. Okay, we're done with the 5K. Let's try the blade, we'll try to not cut ourselves, and we move to the Jainat stone, natural Japanese stone, Nakayama, LV5, extremely hard. Let's adjust the stand, and we're gonna go with the first uh, slurry stone, which is the Asano Nagura uh, Tenju. So it's focused and done right here. Okay, we will raise a nice slurry. We'll take our time, no pressure again. You don't want to leave any bits of stone on the base stone, otherwise you will damage completely your, your edge. And from now on, we only do X strokes. No need to go fast. Just a nice move and good to follow uh, the slurry with the blade to see where the slurry goes so you can confirm that your move is good. Okay, let's try the blade, we're done with this one and have a look under the microscope. Now that starts to look really good. Yep, the magic of the Japanese stones. Now we're gonna move to the next slurry stone. We're gonna clean the base stone, remove the previous slurry. We don't want to mix the slurry. And the next stone will be the Asano Nagura Mejiro. And the Mejiro will have agreed around uh, 8-10k. The tenju had agreed around eight, uh, seven, eight k. That's it done. So same process, X strokes only at the moment. We take our time. We do a nice move flat on the stone and we follow the slurry. Sometimes we need to cut a bit the, the slurry with some water when it's becoming too thick, but that's it. Okay, now we move to the last Asano, the Asano Nagura Coma. So the Coma, again, very hard stone, 12k plus in grit. 
We don't need a lot of slurry. It will be a quite a clear one. And again, X stroke. That's it. We'll clean the blade and we'll go with the final slurry stone, which is a, a Tomonagua. And this one will be uh, Nakema Asaki. I'm not sure if it's Asaki or Ivatani actually on this one. But it will be around the 15k grit. So very clear slurry on this. And we only need a few laps on the stone. There is no need to do so many at this stage. We are at the very end finishing uh, stage. No pressure on just the weight of the blade. And that's it. Now we're going to have a quick look under the microscope to see the final edge. And it's looking good. Quite good actually, very good even. Um, we're gonna do 150, 200 laps with a Canayan Mastrop. Just before, of course, you need to remove the tape. Careful to not cut you on this one. And we used a lot of tapes, you see. This razor took me quite some time to put it back to what it is now but it's truly superb and now we're gonna do the usual hanging hair test oh yeah it sings and it cuts very well yep yeah, looking good and actually to show you that it's, it will shave well, I feel that there is nothing better than showing you the razor in action. So let's do it now. Yeah, as you can hear, it sings and it cuts really well. It's kind of a strange experience. I love it. It's a bit like shaving with a chavette, extremely sharp and flexible. So hope you liked the video. If you did, I always appreciate the thumbs up. And until then, I can say thanks for watching. See ya. Bye guys.